Greetings family, this is Bomani Tayamba family and we're live on Revolutionary Cam family and we are Brooklyn, New York bound. So we're here in Flatbush, Brooklyn on our way to East New York and we're here on the way to meet a good friend as I've been making my way around Brooklyn as I'm here visiting you know, the family, you know, meeting and greeting all the new children of the family and the evolution and things like that. So it's making our way around, cruising the beautiful streets to give you a nice, not much to see at this moment until we take you out of uh, just the general residential area. And yes, family, as you can see, got on the, the new Ghana soccer jersey as we have been, been able to build a serious collection of these as we prepare for a journey of a lifetime to Ghana and many other countries coming up. And yes, this is one of the new postcards. Taking you to many places, family, Tanzania, Senegal, the Gambia, Liberia, South Africa, Ghana, and more. And as you visit our website, AfricaForTheAfricans.org, you'll be able to just view all the great details and get prepared. And then below this is our social network links, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. The journey continues. And as we uh, make this wonderful journey, you know, we're gonna make our way to you know, downtown Brooklyn, make our way to Manhattan and take my little boy or you know, Bomani Dakari, you know, them see New York City for the, you know, for the first time in its fullness versus just connection flights. Yes, Sean, you have to say what's up to the people, man. <laughs> my young bro, yes. Hey, what's up, everybody? How are you doing? <laughs> yes, you, you, you see my young brother journey with us to Ghana and also Tanzania. And uh, we'll see him in one of them other places. Where's Brookdale? That big. Um, we still have about, still have a little while, two minutes. Still have a while. Yeah. So here we are, family. Linden Boulevard. Now, so from East New York to Flatbush, he just runs right across. So it's been a long time family, but to remember all these years, you know, cause this is the area we grew up in family. From East New York to Flatbush. You know, so as we make our way around to different countries and things, and begin to just show you a lot more, just letting you know the connection of what we're about and you know, our roots where we come from. And next time we're in Jamaica, we're gonna take you back to our old neighborhood. Yeah, so that's what I'm doing on this modern day energy now, family. Just showing our brothers and sisters the essence of our energy, where we're coming from, where we're going, and what we're building, and the future. You know, because then, you know, next thing you know, we show you some more footage of our land there in Ghana, our Black South Pan African community land. You know, we're building our own town family in Jahadzi. We have the 15 acres, and then we have the 60 acres, and we're looking to get more land closer to the beach for a third phase to where we can just really build strong and enjoy paradise. You know, create our own ecosystem, create something nice for Africans in the diaspora to come home to and reconnect to. You know, so not, you know, it'll be our central hub and connection. And, and this is the famous Brookdale Hospital. So along this path is this, you know, where we grew up at in New York City, we got here in 1988. You know, from Jamaica. I was born in 77 in Jamaica, and we've been living this. You know, I still have many people here in the city, and in many other places as we make our way around and visit all of our family and friends. And but we never just you know step away where we come from. But yeah, it's uh, the place still 
looking vibrant and full of energy and now we're, we're still cruising down Linden Boulevard once we get to Linden Boulevard it's kind of like everything that we used to see back when we were younger is all developed now so fam it's amazing so what we've been talking about is a straight real estate development real estate opportunities investing in a vision that we never thought that we would grow up at in a, you know, and what we consider the hood in Brooklyn would be valued so much, you know. You know, so those who invested in some of these properties, you know, that we used to call all kind of names and say all kind of things about, it's you know, literally just prime real estate, you know. So even where I'm at in, in, in Georgia, places in West and East Atlanta, is now prime real estate. So trying to just encourage us to get up on our real estate game and just have a vision, you know. So as you see us sharing about our property there and land there in Jihadzi, Ghana, West Africa. You know, it's the future, it's a future investment. You know? And we're gonna keep on working on it. So the next three to five years, we're gonna have a whole lot more to show you. And the uh, only thing I have to tell you is that the lots that we have available, in the, the residential and the commercial lots, <laughs> they're gonna be valued about three times more than what it is, but that's what we're doing putting our money where our mouth is and set these investments up and, and and make my way around Brooklyn the last few days I realized family that um, you know and you, you can't you can't you know you can't go back and figure these things out and that's what it is but you learn from it and you ed educate your children and you educate the future right? and so that's why I've been on this whole world energy of this land acquisition talking about getting more land there in Ghana where we are and then looking to just expand off into Liberia where we can just really build some serious industries and have access to a whole incredible beach line to do this you know incredible you know tourism and this there's no limitations there's another building Sean that I saw right here like I just remember being in Brooklyn that's there was nothing like in some of these areas and now you have all these high rises and you know it's it's like if you the real estate developer and the owners, you know, it's like ching 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 every month. It's like you know, you know, you're really singing that song. Wake up, wake up! It's the first of the month. You're about to get paid for real. So that's what we're saying, family. So you know, whatever hood you think you are in and where you're from, don't look at the don't look at the value. And somebody's gonna find value in it because never thought I'll see this much white folks and everybody else living in the parts of Brooklyn where we grew up at, literally. You know. It's kind of like I left when I was 18 and came back into the whole different world. Yeah. So that's why our company is called Africa for the Africans Tourism and Investment. You know, it's traveling and seeking out greener pastures. You, know, I mean, you may say that's a war-torn zone or that used to be an area or a country of civil war. You know? you know, we lived on these streets. It was a civil war and all kind of shit going on here. You know? Some of us survived and some of us didn't, you know. But um, the aftermath of it is, is prime real estate. So whether you know the hoods of Brooklyn, the hoods in Chicago, Kingston, Jamaica, or Cargana, wherever, unless you you know getting that Arab money and out there building land out in the desert, and the folks in you know in the United Arab Emirates and uh, out there in uh, Saudi Arabia. And, Places like that, you know, then the Gulf region areas. Unless you got money like that, you just gotta work with the real estate that you have. But you know, which is always incredible. If you have it like that, go build, <laughs> go build your island out there in the water. Have your own and, and give people access to your own private beaches. But you know, I've been talking to my family and friends, and these are the game that you know sometimes you're not educated about, and that's what we try to teach our children. You know, what I mean? that's, you know that hey. So, a lot more on that, you know, we're going to show your family. Look at all the beautiful flags. Yeah, and Brooklyn is always big from the residential to commercial to city district to industrial district. It's all here. You know, from the old Brooklyn Dodgers baseball field to now Brooklyn Nets. Barclays Center. Yeah. So, you know, 
the incredibly, incredible graffiti we're seeing. So yes, family, almost at our journey to meet uh, my good friends that we all went to a high school together called East New York High School of Transit Technology. And you know, we all talk about our blessing at, uh, blessing at high school is because a lot of us still making money from the same thing that we learned when we were 13 years old. Myself, as an electronic technician, other people worked on trains, other people did computers, but it was a blessing. And where we are now, Sean? Oh, flatlands. But the flatlands, maybe it was really flatlands, there was nothing out here, it was just like, it, it was kind of like, Marshland. like we talk about like that, you know, that guy in Disney World, in Orlando, that you know, got all that property, and you know what I mean? And, Next thing you know, he built like Disney World on what you consider like, you know, people say terrible land. There's no such thing as terrible land, you know. The, I'm, I'm telling people, I, I, what I consider terrible land is the desert, where they built cities out of, they be doing cities out of desert, but all of this family was not here and there. Some of it was. Well, the part you're gonna show you was not, and you definitely see the newer part of the building. Star at down and that star red city the high rises you ask how they fit eight million people in the city family you build ridiculously up yes yeah, so all you know during our younger years uh, teen years especially, we're all around all these parts. It's kind of like when you're young, you, you just, you know, you just feel like you just, you know, you feel like you just, you know, you just, you know, you just so free just to run about and just explore and enjoy. Yeah. But that's where we're family. We're in Brooklyn and we're on our way to, what's that whole area called? Galaxy? The Galaxy Shopping oh, Mall? Gateway. Gateway, not Galaxy, but Gateway. <laughs> the gateway, gateway uh, yeah, we mall. We said Galaxy. I was thinking about the, <laughs> the, the, about the hotel. The, the hotel's Galaxy. Yeah, yeah. Galaxy. Uh, back in the days, play a hotel, play a player. <laughs> yeah. we're, we're too young. We didn't know much about gateway. those things, but yeah. So gateway. Uh, so this is where we had friends living at Star City. We'll come and just check them and hang out. And, and it, it was always these incredible high rises community. And then I was told that. They built a whole mall, you know, you know, set up and a whole this brand new setup. And that's the ideal area because that's the only place where there's land in East New York. East New York don't have land like that. You know, you know, and East New York is just close to Queens, but it's literally just been always developed. You know, and whatever lots were available is gone now, but this was the only place that was a ridiculous amount of land. And you know, I guess nobody really wanted to touch it because it's just. You know, they call it marshland and all kind of things. Get your watermelon on right there. That's one of the first jobs I had in, uh, in New York City, you know, working at the Brooklyn Terminal Market. I was out there like, you know, 14, 15 years old, slinging watermelons, loading trucks, offloading them. That's when you're strong and you have a good back. You know, you're like me, you get old now, you just have to manage and put the other people to work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, that's all we're doing. We're just managing everything. Real estate, tours, investment. Yeah. So you know, family, you, know, you work your way up in society. As we're looking at the Ghana soccer jersey, looking to say, yes, Ghana, represent for us in Qatar. You know, coming up there in the 2022 World Cup. Yeah. Then Doha, Qatar. As we talk about building civilization out of the desert, that's all used to be desert right there. You know, I was in the Navy in 1999, and our famous uh, ship CV-64 crossed through that area. And as we're crossing through, these are new de Is that like a yeah, this balcony is, this, view? This is all new development, new houses. This, this is, when we still in yeah. Brooklyn family, this is East New York, Brooklyn, or and that's this area, area in the southern part of, you know, where we, we were below where we used to live at. It's called something different, but 
And they're showing you that's what you can do with land. So when we talk about land investment, we're dead serious. Whether you're in New York City or you're all the way somewhere in the poorest country in Africa, it doesn't matter, or the richest country in Africa, it doesn't matter. Just, that's the game. Unless you and Arabs they are billions of dollars, you ain't, you're not building out no land out there in the you know out there in the desert or out there in the water. Yeah, you know, so. And then they have um. This is the second side. They just built this a few years back. All right. So this is the second side, and then we go up, down a little bit more of the first side if you have. Yeah, literally, like family, we literally remember running around here because that was Star City behind us, and there was nothing out here. But so the mindset is either you know you put your energy and money together and build it, or somebody else will, and reap the benefits. There's like a whole new civilization back here. <laughs> but yes, as family, yes, we're still in East New York, Brooklyn. Like I'm always thinking about when the last time I was actually here. <laughs> it had to be in the early, mid 2000. So you know, one of my favorite store, Best Buy. You know, I'm one of the technology people. That, you, know, you know, you need your parts and all your stuff. You just go in, you know, and get the work done. And where I live at in Georgia, all these same things are right in my area and neighborhood. But that's where it's at now, family. It's all about that global of investors and the corporations are, you know. They're smart, they don't play around. They're buying up land and you know, they're, they're flipping their investments. Yeah. Cheers family, as uh, we're getting closer to connecting with our meeting, uh, you know, the journey of a lifetime continues and hopefully you enjoy and our connection as we're here in Brooklyn, New York. The revolutionary cam back the foundation we yeah, got all the corporations here yes so fam this is so this entire area is called gateway shopping mm -hmm. gateway, center. gateway center so what stores are not here all the stores are here right all the corporations pretty much everything Hey. They just added the Nike outlet to the other side. Okay. So rich, Target. rich corporations working S5. together to stay rich and stay dominant. There you go. Can you blame them? Hey, that's the world we live in. It's competition. It's unfairness, you know? Yeah, like when, when my other brother was saying, to someone he, he put up, he, you know, that you know he's proud of one of our friends. He put on his his big boy pants and. Uh, but that's what it is, man. I have to step it up. We appreciate you. You got this? You get... yeah, I got you. All right. We are here. Didn't take long of a ride, right? About good, uh, less than 20 minutes. <laughs> so family, appreciate everybody journeying with us as uh, we took that ride from our house in Flatbush, Brooklyn, all the way over here to East New York, right here by the Belt Parkway, uh, not too far from Starred City. And uh, we're gonna go network and connect with some good friends. And also got some good energy for you, as you know, we have cookouts and connection, just, you know, Momani back in Brooklyn strong. Yeah.